Hello, my name is Vincent Maas, and in this five-minute video, I will briefly outline the core research activities occurring under the CERTES program grant. I'll focus primarily on the activities taking place within the Bristol Composite Center, carried out by the research associates as listed on the left. But I will also highlight the complementary activities taking place outside of the Bristol Composite Institutes being undertaken by the research associates listed on the right. CERTES as a whole has the ambitious aim of delivering the scientific foundation needed to enable a radical redesign of the testing pyramid. The scientific development CERTES is working on will enable significant reductions in time and costs of the certification of aerospace structures, which will also make it more viable to certify novel and fuel-saving technologies. To achieve this, activities within CERTES are focused on developing the capabilities of two main techniques. The first is big data analysis, which will be used to leverage historical data sets to allow large reductions in the required amount of lower level coupon and detail level tests at the bottom of the testing pyramid. At the top of the pyramid, CERTES activities are working to develop digital twin technologies, allowing each physical component to be matched with a numerical copy. This will allow greater insight into the full structural performance while requiring fewer tests. The historical data will also be used to feed the digital twin to ensure it is an accurate representation of the real part. To deliver these technological advancements, CERTESTS has identified four main research challenges, whose main research activities I will now highlight. The first research challenge, which is being worked on by Dr. Awis He at Bristol, Dr. Jean Beneshek at Bath, and Dr. Shenson Ding at Exeter, and is led by Professor Richard Butler, is focused on multi-scale performance modeling. In order to have a digital twin that can accurately capture the onset and progression of damage, the model must capture various mesoscopic effects, such as listed on the left. This is best handled using solid element models. However, a full-scale solid model will be computationally infeasible. For this reason, at Bristol we are working on a multi-scale framework coupling mesoscale solid elements with a shell element model at the macro scale, creating significant computational savings. Dr. Awis He has a separate video on his work on the scale transition, which is needed to couple the two models and ensure all information is properly passed between the scales. This work is complemented by the activities at Bath, where researchers are further developing their Dune framework to similarly enable high fidelity simulation of large structures. The second research challenge is being worked on by Dr. Vincent Maas and Dr. Kiji Yi at Bristol and Dr. Yang Shen at Bath and it is being led by Professor Stephen Hallett. It is focused on features and damage characterization and contains three main activities. The first activity revolves around the development of a database, collecting the available data and knowledge from the literature. This is then built on by the second activity where complex features like asymmetric and non-periodic waviness are investigated to establish potential gaps in the data and fill these. The final activity, under the second research challenge is then focused on the development of non-destructive testing or NDT techniques. Specifically at Bristol, we are looking to further develop eddy current techniques, which are especially well suited for detecting and characterizing fiber waviness and wrinkling. This is complemented by the activities at Bath and Southampton, where research is looking at other NDT techniques, such as X-ray CT scanning, which can help fill the gaps for other features and defects. The third research challenge is the domain of Dr. Tobias Lau and Dr. Geer Olofsson at Bristol and is led by Professor Janis Barton. Both activities are geared towards facilitating certification of composite structures by generating high fidelity experimental data for structural characterization and model validation. The first activity is to develop a hybrid testing methodology which enables us to conduct physical substructure tests under realistic loading conditions, being informed by a numerical model of the remaining structure. This is then combined with the development of combined full field measurements to enable us to match the stress and strain fields provided by the numerical model for the experimental substructure. As part of this, various imaging techniques, including thermoelastic stress analysis and digital image correlation are being investigated. The final research challenge is on the integration of methodology validation. These activities are being carried out by our partners at Bath, Southampton and Exeter, specifically by Dr. Carl Scarth and Dr. Sinan Xiao, both at Bath, and are led by Professor Oloy Thompson. In this research challenge, we see all the other parts come together. The information on features and defects from the second research challenge is used as prior knowledge, which is fed into the multi-scale models from the first research challenge, and then ultimately combined with the results 
from the models and the experimental results provided by the third research challenge through data fusion techniques to give us an updated posterior. This can then be looped until the final model of our component, for instance, in the form of failure probabilities, is achieved. The statistical tools that tie all these steps together are being developed within the fourth research challenge and ultimately will enable confidence in the final structure while requiring fewer structural tests. Thank you very much for listening. Please do visit our website at www.composites-surtest.com for more information on all our research activities and to contact us should you have further thoughts or questions later. Thank you.